हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पांडे गुरुजी जी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वेलकम टू सीक्वल रियल टाइम सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन प्रिपरेशन सीरीज सो आई ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड द टोटल फाइव सीक्वल प्रैक्टिस सेट सो इफ यू डिडेंट गेट ए चांस प्लीज गो एंड वॉच अंडर द प्ले लिस्ट दैट इज दीक्वल प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइज विद द सोल्यूशन क्रैक एनी सीक्वल इंटरव्यू सो आई ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड टोटल सिक्स सेट फाइव सेट एंड वन इज द एमेजॉन सीक्वल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग द बेसिक रियल टाइम सिनेरियो बेस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच हेल्प यू टू क्रैक एनी सीक्वल इंटरव्यू सो इफ यू एबल टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन यू डेफिनेटली क्रैक एनी टाइप ऑफ द टेक्निकल इंटरव्यू you can learn the uh, concept uh, before this video i already created the playlist for the uh, complete sql uh, sql and database tutorial uh, both in the english and the hindi so we already have the, uh, you can see total 58 58 video available and if you want to uh, download the uh, complete training material in the pdf and the sql question uh, you can go and uh, find the all this uh, under the this video description but if you want to learn the sql to one to one and uh, for the job assistant as well okay and i am providing the training on the one to one on every saturday sunday 2 pm to 4 pm and monday to friday we have the practice session so just you can go here uh, pandeguruji.graphy.com and uh, just you can enroll the course we have the uh, 50% running we offer uh 499 only and uh, we also have the some recorded uh, uh, session also so just you can go in and uh, enroll for this 499 and uh, if you want to see that my demo you can enroll on the demo session if you have any question if you have any doubt you can uh, reach out to me so uh, let's start with the this video series uh, that is the uh, practice set of the uh 5 okay so sorry 6 i already uploaded total 5 uh, so this is the practice set of the 6 and this uh, practice set sql practice set i will discuss another five important uh, uh, real time question so i will discuss in the detail so even if you uh, learn this question uh, you able to i solve uh, related to four to five question this uh because i am discussing here all permutation and combination scenario based uh question so you can find this question on the uh, video description as well so the first question is uh, write a query to find the birth date uh, birth month and birth year of the employee by using a dim employee table so you need to find the what is the birth year for example uh, one employee have the birth year is uh, uh, 24th of march uh, 2000 so you need to be find uh, differentiate with the three column 24th day march is equal to month and the year is equal to 2000 so basically uh, you need to be filter out this type of the question so to solve this question definitely you need to be have uh, more understanding on the uh, date time function that is the built in function uh, which i already covered okay so as you can go and de watch the first concept learn the from the uh, definition point of view download from the video description so you able to solve very uh, within 30 second this type of the question if you have the understanding of the basic now the second question is the find the detail of a employee who has more than 5 years of tenuity in the organization so you need to be retrieve the Uh, employee information who work more than five five years in the organization. Next question is the find the detail of the employee who is more than thirty years old in the age. Okay, so who age is more than thirty years. Now the fourth question is the uh, find the detail of the customer who made the first purchase. Uh, okay, so you need to be find the customer name who made the first purchase. and you need to use the table dim customer table the last question is the write the query to split the value from the column french education column from the dim customer before the value so whatever the value uh, we have the 
प्लस साइमल दैट नीड टू बी स्प्लिट द वैल्यू ओके सो आई विल डिस्कस ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन वन बाय वन हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सो लेट जंप टू द सीक्वल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो एंड सी हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सो आई हैव सीक्वल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो आई ऑलरेडी सेलेक्टेड द सीक्वल ट्रेनिंग कंप्लीट सीक्वल ट्रेनिंग डेटाबेस and let's see uh, how we can solve all this type of the question so the first question is the write a query to find the birth day uh, birth month and birth year of the employee by using dim employee table okay so we already have this uh, uh, dim employee table so uh, for this achieve this requirement uh, we have the built in function that is the date name function uh, which is the used for the uh, what is the birth date okay so if you a uh, birth day okay like sunday monday tuesday wednesday so you need to pass here the dw and birth date and this is the column name if you not put this column name no column will be print into the output same like the date name function for the month and the uh, year you need to put the birth date as a year so if you execute this part of the code okay so if you have execute this part of the code uh you can see uh, the birth uh, year so uh, if you put the birth date column uh, after this before the uh, star so you will get here a uh, birth date so you can see each and every employee uh, like this employee is the uh, birth date is uh, 12 11 1981 so you can see the day is the thursday uh, birth uh, month is equal to november and birth is year is equal to 1981 okay so you can also solve one more question like here if the interviewer will ask you can you find the list of the employee who born on uh, like thursday or who born in tuesday so what you need to do you need to just uh, select same co uh, question here same answer here and you need to be put here the where condition okay so if you put the where and just uh, copy the this function that name function and put into the where clause okay so you will get all the uh, employee detail who born on to, like for example that the interviewer will ask on the thursday so just you can hard code the thursday so you will get all the employee okay who born in the thursday so like if you have this uh, uh, question like if you have the understanding of the uh, date name function or the whatever the built in function we have then you can solve any type of the question there is no restriction is there if someone asks you who join in november who join in who born in october so if you want to select the born in october uh, just you can uh, copy this code and in place of this uh, this function we have the month okay so just you can put the where clause uh, month function or suppose if you want to find the month of the october who born in october so you can just put the october month so you will get all the employee who born in october so total 31 employee born in uh, october and trust me this type of the question only they will ask you in the interview very rare case they will ask you your definition what is the constant what is the uh, primary key what is the foreign key this is the question for the fresher but if you have experience uh, this type of the question you will get into the interview now the next question we have find the detail of the employee who has more than 5 years of tenuity into this uh, organization so um, more than 5 years the tenuity so we already discussed the date difference function uh, which give the difference of the two date okay so if you put the uh, higher date to today date you will get the total year of, of how many year work in the organization so if you select this one so i put it the greater than 5 years so you will get uh, the tenuity have the more than 5 uh, years means they work more than 5 years in the organization next question is the find the detail of the employee who is more than 30 years old years old in the age so uh, like the uh, hiring date you need to use the again date difference function uh, basically whatever the birth date 
and uh, get date today date so you will get the age of the employer if someone asks you can you find out the age of the employer so just simply you need to be right here okay so let me put code here down okay so if simply you can write this code here so you will get all the age of the employer okay so if you put here you will get the age of the employer and you can put remove the where clauses so you will get the age of the employer now this is the age of the employer now can you and let me put in the top so you will better understand here okay so this is the age of the employer so you can see this is the age of the employer so simply the question is the uh, more than 30 years so same function i need to be put in the where clause and put greater than 30 years so you will get total uh, employer who age is more than 30 years to total 296 all the employee is the greater than 30 years age only okay so this type of the question you can solve by using the date different function now the next function is the find the detail of the customer who made the first purchase uh, uh, the deemed customer table you need to be used so i declare a variable and uh, uh, basically they are uh, we taking the first uh, mean the minimum date from the deemed customer and just putting is equal to date purchase is equal to date purchase date so you will get the first purchase date okay so this is the list of the employer you will get the first purchase date okay so the next question is the write the query to split the value uh, from the French education so let me show you uh, what the exactly they required so like I have this dim customer table so let me put here in the second window okay so I have this dim customer table and you can see once we have the French education uh, one column is there so uh, you can see we have the uh, French education column so uh, the question is the uh, uh, split the value from the French education column the customer value before uh, plus symbol so whatever the plus symbol like we need to be BSc whatever we have uh, plus symbol so to achieve this requirement we already learned the substring that is a very important uh, concept the substring French education okay so uh, we are starting position equal to 1 we are using the care index and uh, till the plus symbol minus 1 because we required before the uh, plus symbol so if there is uh, only plus symbol is available that is the reason I use the uh, like operator uh, because you can see some of the data doesn't have this plus symbol so no required this uh, uh, trim the data so we need to trim for this only that is the reason uh, we use the uh, French education like operator so if you execute this part of the code you can see uh, only BSC whatever the value is there that is the coming into the output uh, so uh, hope you understand the all the concept how you can solve this type of the question and if you have any doubt if you need any clarification on this type of the question uh, you can um, put the question in the comment box so thank you so much for watching if you are new in the YouTube channel, please share and subscribe. Thank you.